Hi, this is Bill with SparkyChannel.com. Today, we're going to be installing a pressure reducing valve. Here's the valve right here. This one is a Wilkins 70XL. Uh, it's for three quarter inch lines. And I'm going to show you how to install it. The situation currently is that the water pressure, I'm going to turn the water on. Okay, the water pressure to this house is about 150 pounds per square inch, which is way too high. So that's why we're going to be putting on the pressure reducing valve. For this job, you're going to need a good plumbing torch. This one is made by Turbo Torch and it runs on map gas. Also, uh, you need a, a couple different size cutters. We've got a regular cutter here and a little bit smaller one. And I have tools for sanding. I got some solder. I have a razor knife. I have some abrasive open mesh. Uh, that's going to be very useful. Now we're going to be turning the water off down at the street. So you have to prepare for the contingency of a fire because there's not going to be any water going to this house. So here is a bucket of water right here with a rag in it and here is a, a fire extinguisher. Remember when you do this job you got to turn the water off at the water main because here we are this this is the first faucet coming to the house. We're going to be putting in the reducing valve right right down in this area. So the, you know the whole property the water is going to be off so you must Give yourself a way to put out a little fire. Once the water is off at the street, turn on the faucet and drain out all the water you can. Once the water is drained out as good as you can from the faucet itself, put your your pipe cutter on the main line. There's still going to be some more water in there. This is the lowest point right here. Okay, we've cut the line. For this model of pressure reducing valve, the second cut is going to be, need to be made about six and a half inches from the bottom cut. Right now we've got to clean up this edge right here uh, to put on the new fittings. What we're going to be doing is putting these fittings on both ends here to start. But there's a, like a lump of solder right here that i got to get off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat that up. little tinning flux on it. See that just come right off? It's almost flat right now. I'll have to sand it down the rest of the way. But uh, that big lump of solder just came right off. Okay, now with the bigger lumps and bumps off, we use the uh, abrasive ocean open mesh sandpaper. Just use it like your shining shoes. Alright, that looks pretty good. Another good tool to use in sanding your pipes is these, uh, these special tools. They're made for both half inch and three quarters inch. Just put 
put it in the three quarters one and go round and round and round. Okay. Let me show you a trick here. We got water in the line and this is after or, or actually before the main line shut off. There's no uh, lower faucets any place. This is the lowest one. So here I have a straw. You put the straw in, it's a clean straw, because this, this is your drinking water. But you put the, the, water, the straw in the pipe, you put your thumb over the straw, you pull it out, and get rid of the water. You keep doing that. Because if you leave water in the line, the pipe cannot get hot enough to do your soldering. So this is just a real simple, low-tech way of getting the water out of the line prior to your soldering. It's also very low cost. And get a lot of it out in case there is a little leak in the, uh, in the main line valve down the street. Okay, now we got to clean the fittings out. This is just a standard uh, three-quarter pipe cleaner I cut off. I'm going to take and put it in my DeWalt screw gun. Okay, so now I just take the area in here. Look how nice and clean that comes out. It's fast. There, see how clean that is? So anyway, that's how I clean out the fittings. Now, you take some OD Flux or whatever brand you got, and you put it in here, and you put it on the pipe. Alright, then you put the fitting all the way on here. With the Wilkins 70XL DUC, which is a model I have, you need about five inches clearance between these two fittings. We're a little bit tight, but I think that's okay. I have a little bit of play in this pipe, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we're all soldered up now, and check make sure we still got our five inches of clearance We're just a little tight I think that'll be okay there's a little movement on this now put Teflon tape on the threads you go in a clockwise manner around the threads and you want about to do about six turns so that, there Alright now, it's very important that you put the pressure regulator in line with the flow of the water. See there's an arrow, it goes this way. So it's coming up from the street up here into the house. So you put the arrow going that way. And you can put the pressure regulator sticking out this way, or out this way, or out this way, or backwards. Well you don't want it backwards really because it's hard to adjust. I think I'll put it this way, like that. All right, let me show you the way this goes. It's the Wilkins 70XL Double Union. These are the union parts right here. You got, you got the washer, and then you got to put this part inside the union, like that. And the washer goes there, and this goes on like that that's on both sides so that's how it goes now to put it on the pipe it, it goes just like that so you don't need the washer right at the moment so you put this on just like this so I've got my 
my vice grips uh, 10 inch pliers right here and you grab this and just put it on like that you keep going a good pair of pliers that really speed up this kind of work Okay, so I got the top one started. Now we just keep going with the vice grip pliers. Let's see, I'll put, I'll put this on right here. sure you got the arrow pointing the right way and there you go with the double union parts all threaded on and in place we have the pressure reducing valve right here and we have the two washers you put the washer on and then the then the valve right nice and straight get that real nice and straight bring this up start to screw this on. Just start it real nice. Okay. There we go. Now you tighten these nuts down and the thing about it is you can't tighten them too tight because they have the washers in them and you don't want to harm the washers. so tight that it harms the washers. The water is back on now and here we are with no leaks. When you install one of these that's what you always want to see is no leaks. To adjust your pressure reducing valve first you loosen the lock nut. To increase the water pressure you screw this bolt in clockwise into the bell housing and that will increase your water pressure. To reduce the water pressure. You uh, I loosen the bolt in a counterclockwise fashion and that will reduce your water pressure. So you increase the water pressure by screwing it in, you reduce the water pressure by screwing it out. When you're when you're finished, lock tighten up the lock nut like that. The pressure reducing valve is supposed to come preset at 50 pounds per square inch from the factory. It recommends in the directions that 75 pounds per square inch should be about the maximum uh, that you should run in a house. So it's supposed to come free, preset at 50 and your maximum should be 75. I'll put links in my video description for the Wilkins 70XL all brass pressure reducing valve in the double union style and I'll put a link for the Wilkins 70 XL in the single union style. The other end is threaded. It may be more appropriate for your job. And also I'll put a link for turbo torch, soldering torch, and that's the one I've used for about 25 years. It swirls the flame 
and it's said to make it more effective in soldering and quicker and less gas consumption. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.